All right, so let's look at non-respiratory air movements. So these are non-breathing movements. Uh, these are reflexes or emotions uh, made through uh, you know, our respiratory system. So the first is a cough. In a cough, you take in a deep breath, you're gonna close the glottis, and you're gonna force air against that glottis. And so what happens here is the glottis opens and it blasts the air up, and this is gonna dislodge foreign particles and mucus from that lower respiratory tract. Next is a sneeze. A sneeze is very similar in its motions to a cough. You're gonna take in a deep breath, you're gonna close the glottis, you're gonna force air over that glottis, but here you're gonna push air into the nasal cavities. So the uvula is gonna depress in our, in, our, uh, in our throat there, and it's gonna direct air into our nasal cavities, also our oral cavity or our mouth closes. And this is supposed to help clear irritations in the upper respiratory tract. Next is crying. Crying uh, is where you have an inspiration followed by the release of air and a number of short expirations. Now, when I'm talking about this crime, I'm gonna talk about somebody sobbing, not just having tears come down on their face, but they're actually sobbing away, all right? Laughter actually works by the same mechanisms. We take in a deep breath and we let it out in a series of short expirations. Next are hiccups. Hiccups is a sudden inspiration resulting from spasms of the diaphragm. Uh, so this is either due to an irritated diaphragm or a phrenic nerve, and the phrenic nerve is a nerve that goes to the diaphragm, all right? So what happens here is the glottis is closed, so those vocal cords are close together, and so when we push air quickly through that, uh, that's gonna make that sound that we get from hiccups. A yawn is a very deep inhalation. Uh, supposedly it ventilates all alveoli. We have no idea why we hiccup or why we yawn in general. Uh, you know, some people have suggested in yawning it's because you need more oxygen. But you really don't need to yawn to do that. All you need to do is increase your respiratory rate. But what we do know about yawning is that yawning can be contagious. Uh, so just actually seeing somebody yawn can make you yawn. Or if I talk about yawning, that can also make people yawn. Hopefully I didn't make anybody yawn here. All right, switching topics now. Uh, let's look at the composition of, of uh, alveolar gas. Now we look at the composition of alveolar gas in our atmosphere, the composition of gas is mostly nitrogen. 78.6% is nitrogen, 20.9% is oxygen, 0.04% is carbon dioxide, and 0.46% is water. In our alveoli, uh, it's 74.9% nitrogen, so we actually take in some of that nitrogen. It's 13.7% oxygen, so you can see we take in quite a bit. 5.2% uh, carbon dioxide, so we're making a lot of that. Uh, in 6.2% water. So gas in, the gases that are in the alveoli are a mixture of new gases that we take in, just at 350 milliliters, and it's, uh, you know, uh, with gases that are remaining in those respiratory passages, so that other uh, gases that we talked about on a previous uh, video.